guys the day is here i'm bringing you guys the most exciting vlog after nine and a half long months we are seeing harry styles oh my god i'm so excited me and my sister are going we have literally been waiting for this for the longest time we didn't get to see him last time because we were actually waiting three years to see queen and that was like our priority and harry styles was on the same time as queen and then when he announced that he was redoing the love on tour tour we had to get tickets and guys we are standing which is the first ever concert i've ever been to that's standing so i'm a bit nervous about that but we are actually in johnny's place which i still cannot believe we got tickets for that i am so so excited so i thought i'd bring you guys along with us because this is going to be the most exciting day i've been dreaming about this day for the longest time and i'm hoping that we get some good standing positions i mean tiktok has been scaring me because i have seen a lot of people queuing from the night before early in the morning 6am but we're not doing that today i think it's just gone midday we're gonna try and leave at about to and then get there and we'll see but i mean we're in johnny's place so the view is going to be good and i'm hoping that we are going to get some really good footage of harry let's get ready let's bring you guys to see harry styles if you guys do enjoy this video then please remember as always to leave a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already honestly you are not going to be able to wipe this smile off of my face it is so hot so it is getting the hair Clipped up time. The mini mouse ears are going in and let's get ready and head on our way. We are driving there because I'm sorry, I was not risking that train. And we're really lucky that we literally on a good day are about a 40 minute drive away from Wembley. So my sister's gonna drive there, I'm gonna drive back. And yeah, let's have the best day ever. So I think for makeup, I'm literally gonna do really like minimal base, like probably go in with my Garnier because I'm 100% going to be sweating it off. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear the fan because yeah it is so humid today and yeah the lighting isn't the best because it is a bit overcast and i'm using my light to film a few tiktoks but i'm not going to do a get ready with me because you guys know that i literally have one makeup look and that is literally it it is my same go-to so if you want to see what i'm wearing then go check out one of my previous videos i've got a what's in my makeup bag i'm literally going to be using all of those products and i think i've done a everyday makeup get rid of me recently honestly my makeup doesn't change i know what i know and that is it orangey nude eyeshadow like usual base my garnier bb cream or maybe i'll go with my fenty skin tint i haven't decided but i just went in with of course my prep and perfect vitamin enriched moisturizing primer the bobby brown dupe from primark but i did see people wearing like gems on their eyes so i bought a few and i think i'm gonna risk it and put a few gems like in the corner at the outer corner of my eyes maybe one above and below we shall see just to like spice it up because my outfit you'll see in a bit it's blue and green but there was no way that i was gonna risk wearing blue eyeshadow because i'd probably end up looking like i've got a black eye so we're going for normal makeup and then we're going for hopefully a bit of sparkle and then because we didn't want to wear cowboy hats we're wearing feather boas of course but we thought look we're really tall like i don't really want to be wearing a cowboy hat and like potentially like restricting other people's views so we thought we would get ourselves the gem jewel like clamping what's it called hair clamp machine and stick some gems in our hair and just have like nice glittery hair rather than like a glittery cowboy hat so i'm gonna quickly get ready i'll show you guys hopefully the finished look and then i'll show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna head off and see harry styles i mean the doors open at about 4 35 i think it said five on tiktok i saw that they are opening the doors at around about 4 30 so i think we're gonna try and just aim for that because i don't mind like waiting a bit but i'm not waiting for like hours on end and i think if we try and get in there for five i think that gives us like just over two hours of waiting but we can chill and chat because my sister literally only came back last night and i haven't seen her till this morning she's now fully back from uni she's finished uni and she is now back so we have a lot of catching up to do so we can spend our two hours waiting in johnny's place catching up and editing some tiktoks 
and yeah just have a general chit chat i am just so excited first time standing so yeah let's quick get ready and then i can show you guys the finished look my hair hopefully the hair gems turn out well and the outfit because guys if you know you know I'm a neutral queen and I don't really wear colour but I've got these trousers of ASOS and I think they fit the bill for the whole Harry Styles-esque vibe, you know? Guys, I'm actually not going to lie. I'm so proud of my eye makeup. I bought those little packs from Amazon and it literally cost me like a fiver and I really felt like a makeup artist putting these on because they were so easy so yeah normal makeup look as you guys know but look at those little gems and can you see perfume in the hair so we are ready to go well, i say almost ready charlotte's hair's taken about 500 hours <laughs> to dry and then we're just gonna finish the tiktok and let me quickly show you guys what i'm wearing but look at the eye makeup i'm actually it's the little things very subtle but honestly a few gems just elevate the look and then the gems in the hair i'm hoping that when the lights come on they're gonna like proper shimmer and give that little something extra and then let me show you my outfit so this is the outfit i've got matching blue heart glasses of course feather boa and i actually love these trousers if it actually was gonna if it's actually gonna focus they are from asos they are blue with little green flowers and then just a plain white top but all of this is really light and breathable because i think it's going to be really humid but this is the outfit for harry styles and then air forces of course because comfort is key when you are standing but i am so 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 excited so let's hit the road with this outfit i feel like i look like i'm harry styles ready now and i can't wait Guys, we're here. Um, I hope you can hear me because the music is so loud. But I'm so excited. We are in Johnny's place. It was so easy to get here, by the way. Um, literally, the route here was so easy. And then the queue in easy as well. But let me show you because we're actually so close. And watching the TikToks made it seem a lot further away than it would be. But let me quickly show you. Like, guys, the barrier and where he's going to be is literally there. Like, it's actually crazy and then the main stage the video is starting to adjust this to how close we are but i am so excited so it's about quarter to six so we've got about an hour and 45 minutes till wet legs on so not that long to go and honestly anyone who's gone to Johnny's place if you want to queue early do it but like we came in as the doors open at five o'clock yeah so and look at our seats also charlotte what do you think he's gonna wear what color pink we think it's gonna be he's either gonna wear He's gonna wear his dungarees with the hearts on and then we think pink or I think like multicolored like Rainbow. rainbow because it's the last night at Wembley so yeah 100% dungarees he's worn them night one two and three so I'm thinking dungarees pink or rainbow fingers crossed let's see if you're right guys I'm one row one row
I have to talk quietly because it's literally like half past one in the morning and I'm literally an oily mess but that was I have no words honestly I cannot get over how incredible tonight was um i think i'm gonna go to bed and then i'll talk about it all in the morning properly um when i've actually had some sleep and i've reflected and i'm not a greasy mess because guys it we literally had the full standing experience it started to rain just as he started seeing inside of the times and he walked out onto the platform it started raining and it literally just added to the atmosphere to the experience and yes now i can say i saw harry styles in johnny's place literally basically at the front of the barricade and it also rains so yeah literally a full experience and oh my god guys before i go to bed me and charlotte were literally screaming over his outfit because i think i said that like we our predictions was basically i thought i thought he was gonna wear pink i thought look he's worn green island and then for wembley he wore brown orange and then purple so i thought he's gonna wear pink if not pink then like maybe multicolored. but it has to be glittery and i think i caught that on camera but i don't think i caught charlotte saying after i finished recording she was like what if he doesn't wear a top with his dungarees what if he because he's done that all the whole time like what if he doesn't wear a top we were screaming he came out in pink glittery heart dungarees with no top on so the butterfly was out oh my god he looks amazing it's just crazy but we have had the best night first time standing oh my god but anyway i'll stop rambling because i want to give like a full full lowdown tomorrow but oh my god guys what and like he even sang medicine by the way he sang medicine he sang medicine oh my god it was just the best night and then the rain at the end just added to the atmosphere and honestly it was money well spent i don't know what to look forward to now apart from a holiday apart from a holiday i don't know what to look forward to now because honestly we've been talking about harry styles literally since september literally since september and now it's been gone oh my god it was just the best night but night guys and i'll have a little catch up and i'll round up the vlog in the morning also one last thing i literally was just about to get ready for bed and because the feather bubbles was so because it was so hot we didn't really wear the feather bubbles so i can't just tied it around my bag guys i'm sorry how far around does it go? That is so funny and it's done. This is why I wore a cheap top because I knew this would happen, but that is, that is so funny. But anyway, night guys, and I'll probably catch up with you in the morning. Hi guys, so it's actually a few days later, but I'm still, I'm literally not gonna take this off, but I just want to jump on here and close the vlog and just give a little quick outro about everything. First things first, merch. What did I get? Guys, I just got the t-shirt. I really was on the fence about getting the jumper, but it was 75 pounds. And as much as I love Harry Styles, I just didn't think I could justify spending that money on a hoodie that I probably wouldn't go out the house and wear. So I just got the t-shirt. Me and my sister got the same. We got the Europe Love on Tour t-shirt. So it's actually cream. It's so nice. We've got medium. So you've got the Love on Tour logo 2023 on the front. And then you have all the European cities on the back. So yeah, I literally love buying tour t-shirts. I always get one for every single concert I go to. I just love them as either like PJ tops or just to like lounge about in at home when I do my makeup, all of that. And yeah, I had to get something. And then of course, I got my wristband for being in Johnny's place. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and just give you guys like a little debriefing because I wish there was someone maybe there was and I just didn't see that could tell me all things Johnny's place what to do what not to do what not to worry about etc so I just wanted to jump on here at the end and just quickly tell you guys a few things so like I said at the beginning of this video I was a little bit worried because TikTok had me a bit scared about 
how early some people were arriving to this concert. Some people were literally queuing the day before, getting there for like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., queuing for hours. And me and Charlotte made a decision we weren't going to do that. We were actually did end up leaving a bit later than we thought. We wanted to aim to get there for four. So we'd be there like an hour before the doors open. But you know, we were taking our time. We were enjoying getting ready. We were playing Harry Styles in the background. We filmed TikToks. We wanted to get some food before, all of that. And we ended up arriving about quarter past five. So about 15 minutes after the doors had opened. But in that time, we went to the loo, we bought the merch. So we didn't go straight in. So I think we ended up actually walking into Johnny's place at about 5.30. So he gave us about 45 minutes to half an hour before his first act and then about just over three hours until Harry actually came on. But honestly, it flew by. But anyway, do you need to queue for Johnny's place? I personally, from my experience, I don't know if I'm very lucky, I would say no. Guys, we were literally, I was a shoulder away from the front and because I'm tall, guys, I was literally, I'd basically say that we were at the front of the side. So basically, it kind of, if you're in Johnny's place, you know there's a box, we'll call this the right, we'll call this the left. We were literally left, kind of in the middle, a little bit further towards the back, literally one away, if not basically at the front. And it was amazing, like generally amazing. Like I said, we got medicine. We also got Sweet Creature, which I didn't realize until looking on social media, he hasn't actually sang since 2018, if that's correct. Like it was amazing and I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it even a few days later. The atmosphere in the stand-in was actually incredible. Like there was people from all ages. Everyone was so nice. Like honestly, I would do stand-in again. And also like if you want to go to the loo, people will hold your place. If you need to get water, they'll hold your place. The security even were handing out glasses of water throughout the whole show so people weren't getting dehydrated, all of that. It was just such a amazing atmosphere but anyway guys i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna close this vlog and say thank you so much if you have gone to the end of today's video i love you all so much and if you have enjoyed then please remember as always to leave a huge thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already so thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you next time with a brand new video bye